Hello, darlings. I know it's been a minute on the book reviews, got bogged down in a lot of stuff, but we are back to doing book reviews, and I'm really excited about this one that I have for you. <clears throat> it is allergy season, so I apologize for sounding like I'm in the bottom of a well, but we're still able to talk. We haven't lost our voice yet, so yay. Now, the book I have for you today, I have brought you a compilation from her before. And my advice is, anytime you see a book that says, compiled by Martha Dubois, don't question what's in the book, just get it. Martha has an innate talent to be able to bring together the best of the best and pull out stories that they didn't know they had to tell, or they didn't quite have it figured out on the wording yet, and takes them and organizes them into these amazing stories. Now, today we have Whispered Messages. Whispered Messages is all about those moments in your life where things happen that there's a message that you don't quite see right off the bat, whether it's something that someone says to you that you realize later on down the road that, oh, that was important. Not like, oh, that was important, like something I should have remembered, but oh, that was life changing. That one phrase changed my life. Or if it's something that you see over and over and over in print, or if it's a random thought that reframes how you look at the world, those are whispered messages. Those are the things that sneak in in the background that you don't really notice when they arrive, but one day you realize that, oh yeah, so-and-so said that. I read that. That just popped in my head. These are the important things that you need to pay attention to. Now, specifically with this book, it is 11 stories. These are true, real life. I use the word story, but they're not stories. This is not fiction. This is absolute real life. But here's something that I really like. One, these pages are stunning. You know, you open a book nine times out of 10 and it's the standard off-white or white page with black texts on it. And that's what we're used to seeing. So getting a book that the background of the pages are, stu are stunning is such a nice touch. And the ability to have room at the end of each story to make notes. No, I chose not to write in my book. I will not ever get past the, we don't write in books. I use sticky notes, not gonna lie. But the ability to compile your thoughts right here with what you've been reading I do recommend you take this book one section at a time. Read a section, sit with it, think about it, see what it makes you feel and what you personally pull out of the text and make notes. Then go through this book like that and set it down. And a couple of months later, come back and do it again. And tell me, now that you've reframed your thinking, Tell me what changed. Tell me what whispered messages you uncovered. So I'm going to put the link to this in the description. You guys already know that. You know that it will be in the description. You know that you will be able to get your own copy of this. Get a copy. This is the kind of book that you get and you slowly work your way through and you put it away and you do it again. And you will come back to this book over and over and over and over and over because it will continue to resonate with you. You will continue to pull out and glean new information. So go check it out. And like I said in the beginning, anytime you see a book that says on the front, compiled by Martha Dubois, don't question it. Just pick it up and get it. Because what is in that book is the absolute best of the best. All right, darlings, I'm going to go put on some fuzzy PJ pants and curl up and dive into another book because you guys know I love bringing you these book reviews. Bye, darlings.